of them was stopped trains, but this time it's in St. Joseph County. People who live in Osceola say that railroad crossings in their town are being blocked for too long, and it's gotten worse since Elkhart County started handing out tickets for trains, blocking the crossings there. WSBT's James Fillmore is at the live desk right now. And James, you know, some people claim that they've seen trains stop for an hour or more. Yeah, mainly the crossings at Cottage Grove and Beach Roads, Rick. I was in Osceola for more than two hours today and didn't see any idle trains blocking streets. But people who live there say it's a problem. Around 4.30 in the afternoon, there was an idle train in Osceola, but it stopped in between two railroad crossings, so it wouldn't block them. People who live in Osceola say that doesn't always happen. Nancy Caribou can see the trains from her backyard. She's seen a train blocking crossings for more than an hour and says the stagnant trains have made her late for a doctor's appointment and her kids late for school. One of my kids was trying to get to high school and one of them was trying to get to junior high. And there was a train stopped at both ends. So they couldn't get there. One of her neighbors says the stopped trains are posing a safety threat because people speed down their street to try and get around them. We got animals, we got kids, and I'm just sick and tired of it. Norfolk Southern says the economy is improving and they're seeing a huge demand for train loads, but they understand the community's frustration. It's a frustration that we agree with because keeping trains moving is good for the community, it's good for our customers, and it's good for the economy. The company spokesman reaffirmed for WSBT that they're actively working to address the stop trains problem in our area. Norfolk Southern will create new local jobs by hiring more engineers and train staff. They're also hoping that investing in infrastructure will help keep the trains moving better. We're talking about about $700 million in private and public funding committed to infrastructure and capacity projects that target fluidity The St. Joseph County Sheriff's Department says it's been a while since it received complaints about stopped trains, but they will address it if the problem persists. And meanwhile, the Elkhart County Sheriff's Department says it handed out 31 tickets to stop trains since last week. At the live desk, James Fillmore, WSBT Channel 22 News. And we have some breaking news out of Chicago tonight.